partner and brand new for 2020, the Umarex Air Saber. Before we get into the details of the Air Saber, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We appreciate it a ton. Brand new for 2020, the Air Saber marks Umarex's first entry into an aero firing air gun, uh, and really the first entry we've seen since like the Air Bolts and the Benjamin Pioneer Airbow. So, going to be very interested to see how this stacks up next to those. The big thing here is the price point. This is a sub $400 option uh, with the scope, no bipod, a couple arrows included. So, uh, it's really marking that entry level price point, and uh, we're going to find out if Umarex has a winner. Now, starting at the front of the gun, a couple important things to note. This is, of course, a PCP gun, pre-charged pneumatic. Uh, this is a kind of faux shroud, really just acts as a barrel protector. So what you'll notice about these arrows here is that they are hollow at the back, very similar to what we saw with the Benjamin Pioneer Airbow and what we see with the FX arrow firing guns in that the arrow slides over a kind of inner barrel inside of that shroud tube. So something important to keep in mind, you can, of course, take those field points off and mount a broadhead if you do want to, just threads right right in, very easy to do, uh, and showing you that barrel in a little bit more detail. So the nice thing about that system is that the air pushes from the front of the arrow, which means this is going to fly straight. You're not going to get any Archer's Paradox stuff going on or anything like that. So it should prove to be pretty accurate, assuming it's putting out, you know, kind of a consistent amount of air every shot. So we'll see how it does in the accuracy department, but I'm expecting good things just based off what we've seen with the Pioneer Airbow as well and the FX Arrow guns. Now, because it's a PCP, we do, of course, have a cylinder underneath and you will notice that there is no gauge on the end. That is on the underside of the stock right here, which is a nice color-coded gauge. Gun fills to 3625 PSI or 250 bar for those of you so inclined and fills with the use of a fill probe that has a quick disconnect on the end. Love that. Thank you, Umarex. You just pop it right into the end there. Go ahead, hook your hose up, and you're good to fill it. Now, moving back, you will notice as we get to this synthetic stock here that we have three Picatinny rails, one on each side and one on the bottom here. You can mount a quiver to that if you want to. doesn't come with one, uh, or you can do as we've done here, mount a bipod. I mean, you got tons of room for accessories here, which is pretty cool. Uh, so nice feature there as well. Uh, the synthetic stock overall brings the gun's weight to about seven and a half pounds, so not too bad. And that is including the scope, which it does come with here. Uh, it's a four power scope. We'll show you a look inside of the scope so you can see the reticle. You have multiple hold lines, all that good stuff. Um, overall, the texturing on the stock feels pretty nice. It's a thumb hole style gun that is fully ambidextrous. So for the left-handed shooters out there, you should have no problem using the Air Saber. So moving back to the trigger, we do have a two-stage trigger. It does not appear to be adjustable. Um, and the trigger does have, you'll notice the little safety button there. I'll flip the gun over to the other side. So you notice you do have that red ring right there. You go ahead, press it on through, makes it safe. You can't go anywhere with it. You press it on back and it's hot and ready to go. Not a fan of this style of safety. That's a personal gripe of mine. Your mileage may vary. It doesn't impact your usage or anything. I just don't like the safety being on the trigger. Moving up what would conventionally be the breech of the rifle, we do have a full Picatinny rail up here, uh, which that four power scope is mounted to. And then of course at the back, we do have a nice bolt action. Uh, cocking effort's not too bad. I think it's pretty reasonable for me. Just get a good grip of it like so, and you're gonna have no problem with it. You can of course decock the gun. Uh, so you just hold that bolt back. You go ahead, pull the trigger till it lets go. You kind of saw it lurch forward there and you're good to go, very simple. Before we head out to the range, I want to show you guys how to load the Air Saber. It's a very simple system. You're just going to take the 250 grain arrow. It's a 250 grain carbon fiber arrow with a 100 grain field point on it. Uh, so 350 grains total, as I said before. You're just going to slide the back of that arrow over the barrel inside of this tube shroud here and just slide it back. Now, once we get to the end here, listen for this knock. So you, once you press that in and it kind of snaps on, that's when you know you're good to go. That arrow isn't going anywhere. It can be pulled off relatively easily, but it's not gonna fall out or anything like that. That's how you know you're ready to go and good to shoot. Now that we're loaded up and ready to rock, let's head out to the range and see what the Air Saber can do.
Taking the air saber out to 45 yards. We went straight to 45 because in our pre-testing, this thing was shooting great. Only had three arrows, so we're shooting at, at one shot per target. Uh, from a 3600 PSI fill, three shots and right about an inch. Uh, this is really fantastic accuracy at 45 yards. is going to give you the ability to take whatever you want from an accuracy perspective. Uh, shots on game going to be no problem with this kind of accuracy. So it really just boils down to what kind of power is the air saber putting out. We're going to put it over the chronograph and find out. Umarex claims the air saber is going to top out at 400 plus feet per second and over 120 foot pounds of energy. And it certainly meets those numbers. We're over 400 feet per second, translating into over 125 foot pounds with the 350 grain arrows. So we're certainly on track there. Umarex also claims 25 shots per fill. And I'm sure you guys are already looking at this shot string going, how are they getting there? Now, what Umarex is basically saying with this 25 shots per fill claim is that you can get 25 shots that are going to produce enough velocity and enough energy to hunt with. And while that's true, you're looking at shot number 25 representing about 260 feet per second, which is around 52, 53 foot pounds of energy. So certainly enough to hunt with right in that, you know, kind of normal traditional vertical bow power level range. What that doesn't represent is the amount of drop you're going to experience. With the gun zero to just 25 yards at 400 feet per second, you're talking about over a foot of drop by shot 25. And that's going to be really hard to compensate for in the field. We're talking about the difference between making a good, clean, vital shot on an animal and wounding it. From a shot count perspective, I'm really looking at those first 10 to 12 shots as my good usable shot range. And that's plenty for a hunting scenario, of course. So really, if you keep this gun between 36, 25 PSI and about 2,500 PSI, you're gonna be in the money out to 25, 30 yards all day with the Air Saber. So wrapping up the Umarex Air Saber, a very nice uh, entry level offering into the aero firing air gun category. And I'm really glad to see somebody pick up the ball with this because we don't have that many offerings in this category right now. Uh, so for Umarex to take this on, especially at the price point it's at, sub $400 is really, really cool to see. And I think a lot of you guys that are looking to hunt with an air gun, uh, especially if you are somewhere that it's legal to shoot an arrow a game, this is going to be a fantastic option uh, to get, you know, over 400 feet per second, which is over 125 foot pounds with these 350 grain arrows. You put a broadhead on the front of that, there's nothing that's really going to be able to stop you. Uh, and this is certainly easier to shoot, cock, operate, all that stuff than a crossbow is and certainly a compound bow. So uh, should be considered a great alternative for those of you in those places where this is legal to use. As you saw, the gun certainly has good enough accuracy performance to take care of game at distance. That is for sure. Uh, my only two real, real gripes with the gun, it's on the loud side. So know that going in, if you are looking at this and considering it for your applications. And the second thing is that shot count. I am not agreeing with Umarex's 20, 25 shots or whatever. I understand that they're saying that is more than, you know, enough energy to take game with. Uh, but really for me, before you're going to start to see a point of impact change due to that velocity shift, I'm going to say seven to 10 good shots. So that's me. Umarex is going to say their thing. Totally cool. As long as you guys do the due diligence at home to know what is going to get the job done on game for you, wherever you're hunting at, that's the important part. Uh, but overall, the Air Saber, like I said, certainly a good performer. And at the price point, this is one that I am personally very excited about. Hopefully can get into the woods and do some hunting with this myself. Check it out on PyramidAir.com for the Insider. I'm Tyler Patner. We'll see you guys at the next one. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys at the next one. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.